Hey, what's up YouTube? It's DJ Show One King Legend coming at you here with another quick video. Alright. So quite a few people have asked me, um, how do you hook up the drive rack uh 260 to your PC, right? Just like the uh, drive rack PA can um using an Ethernet. Well when you buy the drive rack uh 260, it comes with a serial cable because it is an older model drive rack sound management system. So you will get that uh, black serial cable, all right? So this serial cable here is, um, it's a male end, end to end. So one end plugs into the back of the driver at 260 and the other end connects to your PC. All right, so most PCs nowadays, they're all USB. So uh, you won't be able to connect that cable. But what you can do, which I have done, is I've purchased a serial a serial to USB cable all right I'll let you see this brand here you can uh, get this online all right so that is the brand there all right let me see if there is a model number okay okay there is the model number right there hopefully you can see that and uh, here's a little, little bit about it. Okay, I'll let you see that. Okay, so after purchasing this uh, adapter cable, which is going from serial. All right, so you're going from serial. This will be the male end. This is the female end. They they connect together. You tighten it down. I'm not gonna do it step by step because I can't hold the camera and do it all at the same time to show you how to connect it. But you just plug it in, it's common sense. Pretty simple. And you tighten it down with these uh, these uh, locking pins here, right? They just screw tight. And same way it goes into your uh, drive rack. It has the serial plug. You just plug it on and tighten these, uh, these knobs here pretty good and snug and tight so it won't come loose. All right, so this is a nice cable. It does have a light in there to show you that you are getting power from your laptop. So after um, installing the CD, because this cable does come with the CD, here it is right here. So you install that. I will show you uh, a little quick demo here of what it does. All right, it's just a driver for the cable because it's going to let your computer know that you don't have a serial port and you want to convert serial to USB. So whatever you plug into that cable now will be converted to a USB um, type signal. All right, so there I am. I'm putting the disc in and I will show you what comes up. All right. So... We wait on that. I've already done it, so I'm just going to breeze through and show you what it's all about. Alright, so there's a message comes up. Alright, you click on that. Ask you, do you want to run? You click yes, you want to run it. Alright. And that comes up here, which is the brand of the cable. Alright. I'm not going to give any much advertisement but I'm just showing you what to do here so you you select your system down here whatever you're running Linux or Mac or Windows I have a Windows so I selected Windows and that's all you have to do I'll just show you I've already got it installed but I'll just go ahead and take you to the next step all right so it does go to uh, the install process, I've already got it, so it automatically goes to do I want to remove. So I'm going to cancel because I've already done it. All right. So your next step is to install your uh, DBX drive rack disc that came with it. All right. So I'm going to show you that. If you bought your drive rack brand new, it does come with the disc. This in here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it for you. Okay, so there's my disc, all right? Okay, 
So no worries if you don't have the disc, you can um, download this from the um, drive rack site. All right, so let me put that disc in there. And um, have your internet on also, because uh, it does take you to the site automatically and asks you what you want to do. All right, so there you go. It pops up. You click on that. What do you want to do? You want to run. All right. Now it takes you to the site, to the DBX Drive Rack site, okay? So here's where you can install the CD from. And I will show you that in a second here. Okay, so I X that out by accident, and okay, here's the screen I wanted. There we go. So this comes up, and it asks you what do you want to do. You want to install the CD, so you're going to select this one right here. Driveware GUI, okay? You select that. This page comes up here. All right, so there we go right there. You select that. Then this screen comes up, and you select... This right here to install, and it will install, okay? All right, so after installing now, you will need to go to your computer settings here to see what's your, um, to see what port you have it in, because your USB ports are all different. It's gonna still be a COM port. It's not gonna say USB. So you go to settings in your computer, all right, and you go to devices, scroll down, look for devices, and it will be right here. That will be the name of the, um, the COM port within which that you have your uh, your USB plugged in, all right? So they named this COM port. It says three, so I'm guessing this might be two and maybe on the other side might be a one. I'm not sure how they do it, but um, we're not gonna get technical. So anyway, it's COM3. So you need to know that because once you open up that uh, driveware software, you will need to change the port, all right? So we'll close this out, all right? Because I've already installed and done it all. So now you find your icon, right? There you go, driveware right there. You click on your driveware. Remember, I've already got the wire plugged into my drive rack also. So once you uh, open that thing up, you won't see your drive rack right here until you select the proper port. So click on file, go down to uh, preferences. And then this screen right here will pop up, preferences. And uh, remember I told you to remember what COM port that was in? This is why right here. So you hit the down arrow and you select which COM USB port you're in. Okay, so it won't say USB. Don't be looking for USB because you won't find that. So it's either gonna be COM one, two, three, or four, depending on how many um, USB ports you have and which one you plugged into. So we did see that it was a COM3, so you select COM3, right? And also, another thing, in the menu it shows if you have, if you have it, that came with your drive rack, your manual, it will show you that same box, right, in the manual. And just make sure everything is checked, that's supposed to be checked and so forth. And everything was, I didn't have to change any of these. So the only thing I did was change the COM port to three instead of one, right? And select okay. All right, you hit okay. 
and I'm gonna hit cancel because I've already had all right and um, you're probably gonna need to X out and once you log back in all right okay let's see right here okay once you log back in you will automatically see the driver at 260 all right and once you hit that open it up and there you go that's your drive rack everything that you've set it see mine already says king legend all that so it's already there all right so that's how i know um that it's working because that is the setting i have okay and you want to go even further you can hit meters all right and you will see your meter working okay just as it would on the drive rack itself okay and if i mute everything if i turn everything red i don't have the amplifiers turned on i'm using my uh powered speaker but i muted everything and see everything is muted there as well all right so you can also unmute and do it just as you would on the dry rack itself all right so this is an easier way to operate your dry rack all right so uh, i'm not going to get too technical i'm still trying to figure out how to enlarge this thing i haven't figured it out yet but um there's no maximize button available all right so i hope that helps all right thanks for watching dj show one king legend i'm out